Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you one a very easy winter uh, brightening, glowing um, face mask. And as you can see right now, I have nothing on my face. I have no makeup, not even moisturizer and I have extremely dry skin. So you can see how amazing this is going to make your skin look. I just have lipstick on. I don't have any moisturizer, nothing except that I just use this uh, mask. So it's a very, very, <coughs> I'm so sorry. It's a very, very simple mask. Your skin is going to love it. It's going to give you this amazing glow. It's going to nourish your skin, keep your skin moisturized, but also brighten your skin. Make sure that if you have any kind of dullness, darkness, pigmentation, it is also going to slowly fade away that. So uh, if you want to know how to do this video, you want to know how to do this video i don't know what i'm talking if you want to know how to make this mask then please keep watching also do you see this mark and i have another mark here um my daughter is at that phase where she wants to stand on me and she's realized that she can use anything for her, her support usually it's my hair but the other day she realized that my nose is a good support for her to stand on me so she just grabbed my nose and scratched it and caused all these marks but anyways it's okay she's growing and i'm loving it so to make this mask, the ingredients are absolutely simple. All you will have to do is take about two spoons of curd. Um, and to this, you are going to add one tablespoon of uh, rice flour, a quarter or half spoon of turmeric and two spoons of potato juice. Now, curd and potato juice in itself is amazing. It is very, very powerful in fading away dark spots and just brightening your skin. Curd has lactic acid, so it will uh, brighten your skin and uh, lighten any kind of acne marks and dark spots or whatever dullness you have. Rice flour is amazing exfoliant, but it also nourishes your skin. And turmeric, as we all know, will help with any kind of inflammation, redness. If you have any acne or any kind of skin issue, it will help uh, resolve that. Now, moving on to the application of this mask. Before applying this mask, if you have any makeup, make sure you remove it. And then you are going to use um, nice hot towel when i say hot make sure it is a little more than warm i'm sorry azika is just playing a little more than warm and you're going to just you know make sure to steam your face with it you can of course if you have a steamer you can go and go ahead and steam your face i just find that a little extra step so if you are feeling lazy just use a hot towel and keep it on your skin and let your skin just soak up all the steam really well do this for about a minute or two before going in with the mask, you are going to cleanse your face with two spoons of raw milk and two spoons of rose water. Mix it together, use a cotton pad and you are going to apply this all over your face and then let it dry. Once this has dried, you are going to wipe it off before going on with the mask. This way, uh, your skin can soak up the milk and rose water and it will already nourish your skin and give you that glow. And this will just add to the mask and make it even more effective in helping your skin become bright and glowy. But make sure you let it dry. And once it has dried, you are going to walk. wipe it off very gently and then move on to the next step, which is the mask but please make sure that you do this step and don't miss this step because it is very important in making the mask even more effective and stronger and that way your results are better and effective now make sure to apply this mask generously all over your face you can use it on your neck you can use it on your ears you can use it behind your neck you can use it on your chest area wherever you want to use it you can use it you are going to apply this I'm so sorry, I have this um, throat irritation which is not going and that's why I'm going on cracking. But yeah, you're going to apply all of this and uh, you're going to leave it on. But you are not going to let it dry completely. Uh, do not let it dry completely. Just when you realize that it is maybe about 80 to 85% dry, you are going to dampen your hands 
with warm water again and scrub your face really well with this now the rice flour is extremely mild so you don't have to worry just go in and scrub your face for about two to three minutes scrub around your nose uh, wherever you have a lot of pigmentation darkness or you have a lot of dry skin flakiness um, where you want to remove uh, some dead skin you can just scrub it really well all around your face and then you can wipe off the mask or you can simply wash your face with warm water once you've washed off your face or wiped off this mask, you will see a visible difference. Your skin will feel extremely smooth and soft but will be so brightened and you will have this radiant glow and even if you wash it off, it's not going to go away. The glow is there to stay. Um, the rice flour and the curd will really give you that very nice bright looking skin and the potato juice. Juice? The potato juice. I feel like after becoming a mother, something's wrong with my brains half of the time. I keep forgetting things or I'm just blabbering stuff like this. Anyways, uh, the potato juice and the turmeric is going to help nourish your skin and fight any kind of um, acne or inflammation that you have. It's a super easy mask, but it's very effective. You can use this about three times a week and you are going to love the results. Your skin is going to thank you for it. It is going to love it, especially during the colder season where your skin can be a little dry, stretchy, flaky, uh, look dull or look flat like it has no glow. It does not uh, feel nourished. It can look really flat. This mask will help you with that. But make sure to do both the steps. Do not miss the first step. Someone might just think it's cleansing, but it does more than cleansing when you let it dry on your face. It also nourishes uh, your skin and gives you that glow. So make sure you do the first and the second step. It's very important. Do not miss it. And uh, yeah, I promise you, you will see amazing results. And if you are consistent with this mask, you will see that if you have any acne spots, any dullness, any uh, pigmentation or darkness around your skin, um because of tanning or sun damage this will this will also resolve that so that's it guys i will meet you guys in my next video i will leave everything in the description box for you guys to check it out and if you have any uh, doubts or any questions that you would like to ask me you can leave it in the comment section and uh, i will try my best to answer each one of you and i will meet you guys in my next video until then bye